Hey, what's up, everybody? Frankie Slauson here, and, uh, well, <laughs> we finally figured out who actually won the contest, and, uh, man, I, you know, it's hard to believe, you know, with all the, uh, drama and whatnot that went on, uh, to actually get our, our good friend Wet Movie won to win, it's kind of weird, you know, how this whole situation went, uh, I gotta say that uh, I was just kind of surprised that he would actually, uh, you know, that, well, first of all, how it all went is, uh, you know, because of, there was some people, I guess, that bought views for, for Wet Movie, and I don't know how a person can figure that out, but somebody, somebody was able to figure that out or something, but, you know, obviously it wasn't me, but somebody, somebody did that, and, uh, yeah, I don't know, it's, uh, it's hard to believe, uh, but luckily enough people, you know, got their opinions in, and, and, and with all the work that went into, not just the work that Brendan did, you know, with the video and whatnot, but mostly the work of us, you know, and the, the ones who follow him, uh, everybody who pretty much basically has subscribed to him or follows him on Facebook or whatever, we were passing around, you know, we were doing everything we could, you know, to get the word out, even Cool Neuter helped out a bunch of times, and we wanted to see Brandon win, and Renegade Fox, you know, who, who, just like a lot of people have said, you know, like, like, I have never really heard of the guy prior to this contest, he, I may have heard his music before, maybe on the radio or something, but as far as I know, I've never really, I've never really heard the, heard of the guy before, but I'm very happy that he, he decided to help Brendan anyway, uh, regardless of if he won or not, even though we all know he did. But uh, the fact is that Brennan and his family will get the $10,000. Uh, uh, Renegade just made a video about that yesterday, kind of cleared up any rumors or whatever that was going on. And, uh, yeah, so that's good. Uh, it's nice when people take care of other people, you know. I was going to say in the last video, you know, like in that video, that, uh, that unbubbling, that, uh, that special unbub unbubbling that uh, Brendan did, uh, and uh, Susie Sword Fights, who's that's her name on Facebook, but her YouTube name is Kitty Kitty Boo, or Bo, or whatever. Uh, how she was so nice, and she gave Brendan all these things, you know, the certificates for Target and and a clothing store and all that stuff. It's like, I think you know, in the long run, I think people, a lot of people are 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 like Kitty Kitty Boo, but it takes a long it it. it it's hard hard to figure out, you know, because I know, you know, with, with a lot of people, you know, going through tough times and whatnot, it's hard to, hard to, uh, oh, I don't know what to say, like, it's hard to want to help somebody sometimes, especially if you don't know them that well or, or whatever, but I think all of us have a little bit of kitty kitty boo in, in us, you know, as far as being good-hearted people, and when, when somebody needs our help or, or if we need the, your help or whatever, that, uh, you know, that everybody's willing to help out, you know, if they can or whatever. Uh, I, believe it or not, uh, have applied. I, I applied for a, a new job. Uh, well, a job that I hope that I get tomorrow. Uh, it's a job over at KTRF Radio, which is, uh, they got three different stations. And, and uh, if I get a chance, I'll show you, you know, where it's at, but... I have my interview tomorrow. They are looking for DJs, uh, and they need some people to, you know, to help out and participate and whatnot, and or or just announcers or whatnot. They got three different stations. <clears throat> they got KTRF, which is the talk station, which is the main station, which is the one that probably brings the most revenue, as far as to the radio station. Uh, they got KKDQ, which is the country station, which is something that I'll probably be working for. Uh, and then they got KKAQ, which used to be the country station, but is also now a classic rock station, has switched. They switched it up. And, uh, I really hope I get this job because it's something that I've always wanted to do. Uh, I'll probably give you guys more details of why, you know, after tomorrow, uh, why I'm doing this and all that stuff. But, uh, it's something that means a lot to me. It's, it's an opportunity. I went over there on, th what was it, Thursday. Uh, Thursday afternoon, and I went over there and I, I asked him. I said, "Are you guys looking for anybody?" 
you know, hiring anybody? It's like, yes, we are, actually. We are looking for somebody who can, you know, can read or whatever. And, and I always thought I, I had a pretty good voice. I don't know. To some of you, I mean, what do you guys think of my voice? Is it kind of still nasally or whatever? Or do you think uh, uh, somebody who's in radio would actually accept me, you know? And, and laws, I mean, obviously I know I can read, you know. That's not the hard thing to do. But I, I, I think, you know, with all the experience that I've had at Pioneer Night Part 1, uh, you know, with the radio stuff that I've done over there will definitely help me. Because I asked him, I said, do you need, you know, a, like a license certificate or something that says, hey, you're certified to be a DJ? And they're like, no, we used to be, that used to be our, our policy, but now it's not. So it's kind of nice that I don't have to worry about that, that, you know, that they'll give a guy like me an opportunity to, to do it. Now, I don't know if I got the job yet. By going for my interview tomorrow... And I hope to God, you know, as this whole thing with Brendan, you know, turned out to be a positive thing, went from negative to positive, I hope that's what happens to me. Because I really, I, I <laughs> it's something that I, you know, I'm, I'm just sick of the uniform jobs. And I'm sick of doing stuff, doing jobs that will never amount to anything, that will never get me anywhere. That will never be the jobs that I ever wanted to do. The only things I ever wanted to do in life were, were like video or radio. Something in entertainment, because I know, given the right opportunities, and given full length permission, that I can actually be, show my creative side, which I do have. So, hope for the best. Uh, I, I hope you guys are having a good Easter. And, uh, I don't, you know, this is pretty much, I'm not really doing much today. Uh, I know my family wanted me to come down and celebrate with them, but I wasn't sure what I wanted to do, you know, yet. You know, because, uh. I just, I, you know, we, we did something for Christmas and whatnot, and that was all right. You know, Christmas was fun, and that's more my holiday. Easter, you know, is a good holiday too, but it, it, to me it's not as big as Christmas because Christmas time is more of a positive time. Easter is positive too, but it, I don't know. I, I just more of it, you know, Thanksgiving or Christmas. That's Those are my holidays. It's Easter, it's just a time when I just want to spend by myself to reflect on some things and whatever and and uh, hope that everything goes good. So, anyway, that's all I have to say for now. Uh, I will let you guys know what happens here in the next video. And then uh, the next video I do after that will probably be a tour as well. Because uh, I know a lot of people said they wanted to see a tour of where I'm living. So, I will show you guys that too. So, anyway, uh, cross your fingers that everything goes good. I'll know in 24 hours from noon here tomorrow. Or from this past noon or whatever. So, Hopefully everything works out, and uh, yeah, happy Easter everybody, and congratulations to Brandon on the 10,000, and uh, we'll see you guys later. Bye.